Hi friends, guess who's back? I'm finally back from Chicago from Chairman's Circle, uh, which was just a meeting for all the nationals. Pamper Chef takes care of all the things. But anyway, long story short, it's time to make dinner. I gotta go pick up my kids, one from one activity, one from the other. So I need something quick that can just sit here while I go pick them up. So um, I needed lots of things, so I needed to place it in such good order. So I just got some quick things. And remind, remember that I have chili. Uh, chili mix from Pampered Chaps. So I thought I would pop on. I haven't seen you guys in a while. If you're popping in live, comment live. If you're watching later, replay, comment, replay. And I want to know, I know that this is like not the chili super, super power here. This is the quick, easy chili. I know some people out there love their chili and like you have all kinds of things you put in there. So I would love to learn. So tell me what is your secret chili ingredient. I've heard all kinds of things. I've heard coffee ones and I think it was like beer or something. So I don't know. So this is how you make the cheetah version, the, hey, I'm a, I'm a busy mom, I ain't got no time for like long dinner, so this is what I'm making tonight, okay? And sometimes I can make a different chili. But, uh, so super simple to use the Pamper Chef chili mix. It comes in a pack or three, uh, and it's like, literally like, I don't know what to cook for dinner. Let's figure it out, okay? Brown sugar in your chili mix, Bethany. Okay, that I've not heard that one before, but I could see that being good. So all I did is chop up an onion, and then I have some ground beef that is pretty much done now. Browning using our mix and chop, of course. How many of you guys have this mix and chop? How many of you guys have one? This is a great stocking stuffer, by the way. Um, and if you're shopping right now for holidays and you need uh, some special deals, common deals, because I have some special deals for my holiday shoppers already. So, um, but no worries, Paper Chef is very well stocked. I know that there's lots of shipping containers out there, but I just came back and I got to go back to the distribution centers and we have products stocked to the ceiling. We are ready for holiday season. Anyway, so you brown this up with our mix and chop and then it's literally like dinner for dumps, okay? Or dinner for moms that don't have time, like me today. So you take this chili mix, Open it up, sprinkle it on there. Now you could do this in your slow cooker. I don't have time for that. About one and a half cups of water. Let me get a little bit more water. So one and a half cups of water. And then you're going to add your beans. I add the beans like last minute, like because Gigi doesn't like beans, so I will add them separately to the other half. And then one big can of diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, something like that, okay? Uh, pretty, pretty stupid easy, but I'm going to add a secret veggie because this has like, I mean, it's got tomatoes, but you can always boost and have a little bit more veggies. Ooh, white shirt and tomato sauce. Let's see how this goes. All right, here we go. Put that in there and then you, I'm going to add some kale and fiber enrichables because this one is really green. Uh, so if you add this to anything not dark, it's gonna turn green, which I guess is fine, depends on what you want. So I'm going to sneak it in here so nobody knows that I just added some kale and fiber. Pretty cool, right? Could you use some more vegetables in your diet? I know, I could always use a little bit extra. Look, and nobody's gonna know. They're not gonna know. And then I'm just gonna let this kind of simmer and of course, you could do this on your in your slow cooker, whatever, but I just like got no time. So I need something quick and easy today. So this is what's gonna happen. And this is our new, um, I don't know what the name is, new enameled cast iron piece of cooker. <laughs> a lot of paper chef consultant I am. I know all the things. So that's it, right? Then you top it with whatever you want. So that would be a great question too. I would love to hear. Uh, so I didn't grow up with chili, so I, it's like an American thing, right, that I le learned when I moved here. But what do you top your chili with? I'm like the basic person, sour cream, cheddar cheese, maybe some avocado, but that's really all I need. So let me know. So it looks like somebody said brown sugar is the secret ingredient. Chocolate, Jennifer? Chocolate and chili? Interesting. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. I'm gonna go pick up my kids, but I wanted to pop in because I miss more people. I was with my some of my favorite people too, but I miss my my people too on social media, right? So I hope you miss me too. Hope you guys had some fun following along. It was really fun to be um, back at home office after two years. It was like definitely kind of emotional after not being able to go there for two years and. 
just like some fun things happening and I hope you guys enjoyed following along. So comment live if you're popping in live, comment replay later, let me know what your secret ingredient is or how you make your chili. I would love to hear some new ideas. Ciao guys.